All right guys, for today's video, I'm showing you how to reverse your winch to get the handle on the right side instead of the left side. Apparently this has been a hot button topic on my videos. A bunch of people have messaged me and commented about how my handle is on the wrong side. As you can see, it's on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of time today to switch it to the right hand side, show you guys how to do it if you need to. I didn't intentionally install it with the handle on the left hand side. That's just how it came out of the box and I just wanted to throw it on real quick. It won't hurt anything by having it on the left hand side. It's just a convenience thing. That way you don't have to step over your trailer tongue every time you're trying to crank the boat in and out. So let's just get this uh, off the boat here. Okay, I'm gonna get the two bolts off that's holding this on and we'll see what we can do. Okay, look at this bottom move on very well. Before I put this back on, I think I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. I'm just gonna hit it with some enamel, that way this is nice and clean and protected from rust once I mount the winch back on. All right, gonna give that a minute to dry. Uh, this stuff dries really, really fast. Once that's dry, I'll go ahead and put the winch back on. Okay, so now I have the winch reversed and the strap unraveled. I'm gonna provide a little bit of tension best I can with my uh, fingers here. I'm gonna be holding it with the same fingers. I'm gonna reel it in. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna apply a little bit of grease to this since I have it out. That way when I run this through, the grease will collect on all the gears. Okay, so now I have the winch line reeled in the opposite direction. As you can see, the handle is now on the right. So when we mount this back up, it's gonna come out the front of the winch instead of the rear. So this is dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the winch back on and give it a try. All right, so the winch is now installed back in place. Let's go ahead and hit the cable up and see if this works. All right, so one last thing before I finish this up. If you're like me and you get no greater joy in life than lubricating mechanical parts, I'll show you guys why I greased the winch to get this thing running smooth as butter. So there's only a few places you really need to worry about, and it's basically anywhere that metal makes contact with metal, or plastic in this case. Uh, the one thing that was squeaking when I was using this was the handle. Um, I just applied a little bit of lithium grease on the inside of the handle, so now this is just... I mean, you can't even hear it. It's nice and smooth. It actually feels soft to roll, which is kind of nice. And when you're actually turning it, it's a nicer feel in your hand. The next part is where the two gears meet down here. Um, you can grease this by just applying some grease onto the inside of the gears and the larger gear. And then as you're reeling it in and out, and that'll kind of spread out the grease to the different teeth. You can even just grease a couple different points along the way. And then, like I said, as you use it, it'll just keep on greasing it. One more thing down here is I applied a little bit of lithium grease onto the spring itself. Um, that quieted that down 100%. That was making a really loud screeching, uh, squeaking noise. But it also just makes the activation of the uh, forward and reverse lock a lot nicer. So as you can see now with nothing on it, it's just super, super quiet, no squeaks or anything like that. So one other place you could probably get some grease is down inside the tube in here. I didn't really see a good entry point, so I didn't bother with that, but that's just one last place you can do. 
All right, well, with the winch handle on the right side, I hope this makes a lot of commenters happy. All joking aside, it is much more convenient having the handle on the right-hand side. That way, when you're trailing onto your truck or you're winching in, you're not having to step around or over to access the winch handle, you know, using your left hand. So overall, it's a pretty simple thing to do and it gives you a little bit of comfort. And that's always nice when it comes to boating. So one quick update on the bench seat that I'm working on. I'm pretty sure I found out how I'm gonna do the actual container. Um, I have a black tote over there in the corner. Uh, I'm gonna go buy a brand new one because that one's filled with charcoal, but it's gonna fit pretty well in this space. I might need to do some trimming to make it fit exactly, but I have a really great idea on how that's gonna happen. So in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install the tote for the uh, in-bench storage. All right, if you guys found this helpful or just enjoyed watching it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna follow along with the John Bell build and other videos that I put out, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.